Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. This is Keith from KMA's Corner. And today, we are digging down. Because the last episode, we were up in the sky. And I'd rather not be up in the sky. I'm afraid of being up in the sky right now. So we are going to go down and do um, the work that I had planned down here. But I've cleared out a little room down here um, for the cows. Um, probably for some pigs and then on this side you know whatever so I'm gonna dig down oops another couple of levels I'm not gonna get the animals in here right away and this is leftover wool from my rug at my house so I'm just gonna basically build up some cows so I can have some leather and stuff because I am severely lacking leather leather and um, and I guess I should torch this up in the middle I'm gonna put a couple more animals in, I don't know, 10 more blocks down from here, maybe like around here, I'm gonna make some farms. But we should be higher than that, so one, whoa, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so I should be okay, as long as I'm not building into this, which is the cavern of my mine shaft. So I hate building things underground. Hello there. Um, because I'm not a f big fan of clearing these out, but I'm gonna get that done and get some animals down here and some farms down here. And uh, we'll see what I can do for the rest of the episode after that. I've decided, seeing I am kind of um, done doing this boat ride. Not that particular boat ride, but doing the boat ride over and over again. Then I'm going to make a portal up here and hook it up to our wonderful nether to make it easier for me to go back and forth from this place to my abode or spawn. And it also will make things easier for other people to go to spawn also, or come to this place from spawn. <laughs> Words, my friend. So I'm going to go to the top of this. Uh, gunpowder factory and um, make a portal I was thinking maybe I should do it down here but when you first come on here um, you don't want to be down here you want to be up where the mobs spawn so I'm going I'm going all the way up yeah I see you falling out of there I see you falling out of there I'm going to um, make this platform a little bit bigger. Come on, it is Saturday morning and it's like first thing in the morning and I got to go to work. And I'm still tired. We had parent teacher night last night at the school and I got to meet my daughter's new teacher and that is like um, interesting. Say the least. Gonna put the portal right here. Massive mobs are spawning right now down there. Oh, I'm gonna have to make this a three wide. I hope I have enough blocks. Because, um, I only have a certain amount of uh, obsidian. It would be kind of sad that I'd have to go all the way back home to farm up some more obsidian because I decided to make this three wide. I remember um, during the last snapshots when you were going through portals it would kind of throw you in front of them or inside of them so you'd suffocate in a wall if you made the portal near, near a wall and having the portal on the edge of this um, magnificent 250 well actually I think this you'll land on the spawner so it's not I don't think that's deadly but that's not the best place for one. I'm just gonna make sure that nobody can fall off. That should be good enough, right? Yeah. So let's see where this brings us. And hopefully it doesn't connect us with another portal. Let me, 962, I should write this down. Yes, I am opening up WordPad 962 780. Just in case I 
get Link to another portal. This should be interesting. And I link to my own portal. Okay. So let's bring up WordPad and a calculator. And we go 962 divided by 8. And we got 120. Yes, I did that in my head. That was not done with a calculator. Not at all. And the other one is 780 divided by 8. No, not 5. 780 divided by 8. Not 5 again. There we go. 98. So let's go 98. 120 and 98 is what I'm looking for. Go away. Go away. 98, 120. So we need to be going this way. So this is where my other portal should be. So I'm going to clear out some stuff. I'm going to make a new pathway to where the new portal is going to be. So I'm just going to clear this out a little bit. Sorry, Torchy Warchy. And there's where the new portal is going to be. Should I set up the portal before I hook up the stairs? It doesn't matter because I will get this working some way or another. I just need to add a sign down here that says gun factory that way. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I have any signs in here. If not, I'll make one and I'll put a sign there that says what I just said. Yeah. Gun. And I think this is a one word. I don't think that... Um, it's two words, gunpowder. Gunpowder. Oh! Powder factory. Yeah. Uh, I guess their arrow should have gone up. But hey. So hopefully, when we make this portal here, I'm gonna dig a couple down. Uh, we won't have gas blowing it up. Whee! One, two. Uh, screw it. We'll just waste some. Why not? They're over there. Where's my good stuff? There's the good flint and steel. Now hopefully this will connect with the gunpowder factory. And here we are. Fuck yeah. Can we get a fuck yeah? Fuck yeah. Now, seeing that this is the AFK spot, I'm going to make sure there's enough light. So now I don't have to jump. Like before, I'd be coming over here and yeah, it'd be fun, but it's always kind of nerve wracking to jump off of that. But now we can just come back and forth. I should make this path a little bit wider. I'll make it a little more user friendly in the future. And there's no way of falling out. Yes. And what? Oh. Okay. And I guess I should make a. I don't have any torches on me. Okay. <laughs> Preparedness is the key to survival. So at least when you come out of the portal, you know where to go. So yeah, that's right. Lava. So now <clears throat> I'm going to work on my underground factory of making crops and stuff underground and cutting up big holes and doing all that sorts of fun. But I got a little tired of digging holes as you guys probably have in the past. But I might as well, while I'm here, <clears throat> do one more quick thing. I um, want grass down here, so I'm going to make a pathway. Somehow down here. Hmm. This should be interesting. How can I do this? I think it will still go like that. 
I'm guessing. We'll find out. We'll put you right here. I don't know. It needs a certain amount of light level, and... I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'll, I'll look that up. So we'll see if that causes any grass to come down here. I don't know. It's worth a shot. The worst that could happen is it doesn't work. I found myself a um, nice abandoned mine shaft here. But I don't understand why all the pigmen are here. I mean, I know there's a spawner down there, but what's up with all the pigmen? For real. And wow, there's so many abandoned mine shafts. But wait a second, what is this? Hmm. Hey, wait a second. We're in the nether. We are in the nether. Now, Ellen, King, and Dope Scuzz, that looks wonderful. I really like what you did there. Very, very nice. I didn't show off your base because uh, that's a work in progress, but uh, applause. Yay. That looks really, really good. Excellent work. All right, I'm running out of dirt and I'm trying to cover up the uh, floors to these um, places with dirt because you need dirt to harvest crops and you it's always nice to have dirt underneath your farms for your animals. So that's what I'm working on now and the 19 I have on me right now is what I have left so I'm gonna go farm some dirt and I'm bringing you with you me no I'm not okay the grass is slowly making it down there I'm I'm almost thinking um that I should just go to the skeleton spawner which I have yet to really use and um Get some levels and chant some books until I get a silk touch and just throw some grass down there <laughs> because moving grass down a tunnel like that is a big pain in the bazooka. And I don't have a bazooka, so I don't know how big a pain it is. But I am gonna go show you some work. This this episode was supposed to be all about that underground farm thing. But I've been tweaking out my farm a little bit. And I wanted to show you what I've done. Um, I've given some signs for people who don't know what's going on here. Um, because it, if you make a thing, you know how it works. But nobody else really knows how it works. So I wanted to leave signs to let people know how to do it. Yes. There is what I've done. Um, I made this platform a little bit bigger, a little friendlier for people to come down. I have noticed, um, let's see if it's in that. Now I got 50 entities in there right now. I've noticed sometimes when I come on, this thing works the bomb. Um, I can stand up there and I can watch the entity levels go from 0 to 40 or 50 back down to, yeah, I mean, how can you not like that? Um, I've seen entities go from uh, 0 to 50 up top, down here, I can get the entities up to maybe 20 or 30. But for some reason, and I don't know if it's something that King has done with the server, um, which is fine because he's probably protecting um, the server from being overloaded. 
Uh, if I, there's a certain amount of entities that have been killed over here, like two, three hundred. I don't know if there's a cap limit or if I'm even making this up. I'll stand down here and there'll be zero entities. But right now there's 40 entities. So that cap isn't in effect. But this will work for 10, 15 minutes and all of a sudden I'll start getting zero entities completely out of it. Um, and what I did is I made an item sorter back here. And I also, do I have any? Yeah, I got some. I got my 19 dirt. Yeah, I gotta use up my dirt because I need some more dirt and why not? Once in a while, you see, I will lose some things on the edge. Maybe I should put some more hoppers in there because that's not cool. Don't want to be losing stuff. But basically, rawr, basically the five by five area here is where the hopper collection is. I am going to replace that because that's going to annoy me. I kind of figured that these side hoppers would suck that up. Really, guys, I'm trying to talk here. Are you done yet? <laughs> yeah, there, there's more um, stuff on here than I was expecting. That's not cool. Um, so I'll fix that. I'll add a couple more hoppers. I just put in this so they didn't fall down into the redstone. Oh, yeah? Psst. So these 5x5 five five hoppers basically collect it. Then I have it go to this one, and over here, then it goes across the item filter here, and it fi filters out the items for the chest down here, and I added a second layer chest just in case, and um, this last one over here just basically has the... Come on, guys. I'm trying to talk here. Thank you. <laughs> so... The extra things that you get from witches will go down there, and spider eyes, because you don't get many spider eyes with this. Spider eyes. So let's go uh, see. I haven't really been AFKing over here at all, because I don't need any of this stuff. Um, but let's see. Yeah, we got the flesh, we got the bones, we got the arrows, we got that. We're going to be low on this next one. Gunpowder. Because I brought my chest of gunpowder. What's supposed to be in this? Oh, glowstone. I don't even have enough glowstone to put into the filter yet. Let's see if I can see the filter at all. Oh, uh, the filter's not even on. Oh, wait, that's not even a filter block. That's a filter block. Yeah, I'm not too worried about it. But you see everything in here is all the extra stuff except for that. That once in a while these a couple of things sneak through over here and I'm not too happy about that but I tend to be a perfectionist but um yeah this thing's working fine um, not gonna use it much I just kind of wanted to have enough bone mail and enough arrows so I don't have to worry about it and it was a nice little fun project to make um, and show on vid Dio I had um, done many changes to the house. I had a whole bunch of different types of blocks in these locations. I kept on changing things out, and I'm still not 100% happy with it. But when I was showing off the house, uh, when it was done, um, I saw that this was still not changed out. See, all these sl uh, spruce slabs used to be um, logs here. So, let me get rid of these logs. One more. Oh, another one. Gotta get the very top one. And put in the wood that is supposed to be here. See, I am not good enough to catch things like that. So, I need you to tell me that things are wrong in my world. That's right. I wanted to show you the chest, see if anybody's taking any of the gunpowder. Nope, nobody's taking any gunpowder. But free gunpowder from KMA's corner, blow stuff up, enjoy. Yes. And I think, really, 
I can't think of anything else to do in this episode. So I think I'm going to call it a day um, with the first off saying that my YouTube schedule is going to change. It's getting busier at work already. <clears throat> I've been extremely busy over the summer. Usually summertime is my time to relax and have two or three days off a week from work. But um, I'm actually looking forward to Memorial Day or the next holiday in September so I can actually have a day off. I've been working that much. Um, so I haven't... So it's been really hard to keep up with my YouTube schedule, which was trying to do three videos a week. Um, let me take my helmet off so you can see my pearly eyes. Um, with my glasses. Yeah. So I was trying to do three videos a week where I do one on my single player, one on here, then one on Serenity. But I think, honestly, I am going to cut that back to one video a week. Because my life, this is taking over too much time in my life. And I have a family and I need to do stuff with my family. Um, and my job is getting extremely busy again and that takes even more time away from my family. So I'm cutting back the videos um, and I'm going to add a streaming thing in a week or so. I got a new program to write music with and I think that will help me get some motivation to do music because I would like to tell you right now, Minecraft is awesome, but I'd rather be writing music. So um, one video a week, I don't know if I'm going to stay playing on these servers to make these videos or just play on them for fun um, and we'll see if I go back to Serenity I'm not 100% sure about that yet nice lovely people over there but over there when I make a chest full of diamonds and if I stuck it in the center of spawn it would be gone out in a couple of hours here I could stick a chest full of diamonds in the center of spawn and nobody would even think twice about it and not even you know go oh somebody placed this by accident we'll leave that there for them um, not saying that everybody on Serenity is a thief, but Serenity, they go through a lot of people quick. And I don't want to be working really hard on something um, and have uh, a newbie come on and get banned because he's stealing. Uh, because that happens all the time because they bring in a lot of people um, that they don't know onto their servers. And um, most of them leave after a day or two, but some of them stick around and then they eventually get banned or whatever. But there's a core group of people on Serenity also that are very cool. And if it was just that core group of people, I wouldn't worry so much. But it's the people that come and go that I worry about with uh, leaving stuff around. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to play Serenity anymore because I do like like it. Um, I got those massive spider farms, and I kind of need to keep up that wool thing because I said I would. So, we'll see what happens, but um, I'm going to shoot. My guarantee is you're going to get one video a week. You may get two, you may get three. And my other guarantee is you're going to start seeing music on my channel. You're going to start seeing me creating music on my channel. Um, and you're probably going to start seeing me streaming me creating music on the channel. And maybe when I go on Serenity or here, I'll stream it. But um, the problem with streaming Minecraft is that my household is loud. I can't uh, choose any time during the day. Go, oh, well, I'm just going to go stream right now. Because then it affects two other people. And I don't want the two other people to have to walk around on tippy toes because I'm talking to three or four people on the internet and streaming to a couple of friends um, but when we move which is gonna be inevitable because let me tell you something uh, we lost our AC about three weeks ago I live in South Florida the guy kinda jerry-rigged it so it's like 80 degrees in the apartment which is much better than 90 something but he is not doing the right thing with the AC and he's being a massive jerk about it so I am right now looking for a place to move because I don't want to stay here and maybe this place that I move to will have a secluded area where I can put the computer and stream and do whatever I want whenever I want but these are also big time future issues that I'm gonna to have to look into I'm not guaranteeing that I'm gonna move even I'm not gonna guarantee that I'm gonna 
you know, not put videos up from this place or Serenity anymore. Uh, most likely this place will definitely get more videos. Serenity, I'm not 100% sure. The only thing I'm going to guarantee is that you're going to get at least one Minecraft video a week. And at some point, you're going to start seeing music introduced on this channel. Um, because I enjoy doing that more than this. I've kind of hit a Minecraft wall where I'm not like out of ideas, but I'm kind of like all I've been doing is Minecraft. And I need to break it up a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do. One Minecraft video a week at least. And this one doesn't count as one, I don't think. What is today? Today's Tuesday, so... Yeah, I'll probably have a, a single player episode up, or maybe even a Serenity one. But, um, after this week, eh, you know, after this week of two videos, I will say, I'll, I'm going to focus on getting one out and start working on the musical stuff and start hanging out with my daughter and doing her homework for her. Mm, third grade. Wow. And on that note, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. It's Keith from KMH Corner, and we'll see you next video.